to solve equations with integers, you follow the same basic integer um, equation rules that we learned back in chapter two with whole numbers. If it's a subtraction equation like number seven, then we would have to use addition to solve it. Since it's minus nine, we would have to do the opposite and add nine to both sides. Minus nine plus nine cancel out. When we come to this side of the equation and we solve it, negative five plus nine would be four. When you do your check work, you put four in for G. Four minus nine should equal negative five. And when you do four plus the opposite, plus negative nine would be negative five. Number 10, since we're adding two in the equation, we'll have to subtract two. So the plus two and minus two cancel each other out on the left, and we're left with x equals. But we also have to subtract two on the right. Remember with integers, we don't leave the subtraction sign to subtraction, we change it to addition, and we change the subtrahend. It was positive two, so we have to make it into negative two. Negative 12 plus negative two is negative 14. Do the check work. If x is negative 14, we have negative 14 plus 2, which does equal negative 12. And number 12 is also another addition problem. It's 20 plus w, but since in addition we can switch the add ends when we add, it's okay that the w is the second add end. We would still subtract 20 from both sides to solve the equation. So we're left with w equals. And again, whenever we have subtraction with integers, we have to change it to addition and change the sign of the subtrahend. So we'll make it negative 20. 10 plus negative 20 is negative 10. Do the check work, we'll put negative 10 in for W. 20 plus negative 10 does equal 10. Number 14, 7S means 7 times S. So we would have to do the opposite of multiplication and divide. So we'll divide both sides by 7. On the left side, the 7's cancel out, <clears throat> so we have s equals negative 49 divided by 7 would be negative 7. To do the check work, 7 times s, which is negative 7, should equal negative 49, and it does. To solve a division equation, we would do its opposite and multiply. Since this is k divided by 5, we would have to multiply both sides by 5. The 5's cancel out and k equals negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Do the check work, we put negative 20 in for k, divided by 5 should and does equal negative 4. <clears throat> 